so it is 20 degrees sea outside. I've done 187.7 miles. And yeah, weird. this is the last time I'll do this. Ollie 333 and Hall Mac. That's Matt, that's Ollie, I'm Jamie. I'm bored of using names, they're stupid. We'll take that. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, take that. <laughs> I can't fucking use this now, can I? <laughs> you bastard. Um, here's the bike, all sued and booted. Very pretty. Um, I'd like to say a special thank you if for any reason you somehow end up wa uh, watching this. The man who was trimming the bushes at Clackett Lane services between Junction 5 and Junction 6 eastbound on the uh, on the M25. Um, thank you so much for giving me this. Uh, I just asked him for one. I was going to pay him for it and he just said no, don't worry about it. So I was courting. So thank you. <laughs> it's essentially stolen. But thank you to him. For the Clackett Lane services. Um, so yeah, we're uh, we're gonna get on the Channel Tunnel in three minutes, I think, um, and then head over to France. So see you on the other side. Right, so I'm now officially in France. Um, at a station. Very very exciting. A bonjour, surprisingly. Uh, nice little wind farm there. Uh, that's the entrance to the tunnel. That's the exit you come out of. Um, Guys are just getting fuel over there. I'm gonna stop for a bit, have a drink, and uh, then carry on towards Troy's. I think it's called Troy's, don't know how you pronounce it. Sorry, any French people watching. Um, I think we've got about 250 miles to do today. Uh, it should be good, learning experience, and it will be interesting if nothing else. So, yeah, we're, we are in France. Um, that's the speed limit. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna do 80. And no worries. Uh, surprisingly easy to get used to riding on the right hand side of the road rather than the left at the moment. Possibly because there's a central reservation in the way actually completely forcing me to not go in the middle. Oh my god, no. Forgot how bad the wind is on this at speed. I'm probably going to be completely screaming into my mic because of it. Apologies for that in advance. So yeah, we've got about 250 miles to do today, we've done 25 and we've had a break and all that business. Ah, there you go, 23 kilometres for the next garage, a shell, which is perfectly acceptable. Happily cruising at about 75 miles an hour. And we'll, uh, we'll just eat up the miles. The journey so far has been very easy, we had <laughs> the most lax border um, controls I've ever seen. We went through... Um, passport control at uh, Folkestone to get on the channel tunnel. I went into the passport control bit and a guy looked at me, gave me the thumbs up and told me to go away. So didn't even look at my passport and then we arrived in Calais, just got straight onto a motorway basically. Just, and you just, yeah. I think they just see British bike, he'll be back at some point, he's not staying, he's got a lot of luggage. Go on through. I suspect if it was a tour bus full of people then uh, It'd be a bit different but it was nice and quick and we got onto the earlier one as well because if you turn up and they have room and there was absolute bags of room on the one that we got basically uh, you can just book uh, an earlier one if you arrive early uh, free of charge which is really cool so we're here a bit earlier than anticipated however because we're now one hour ahead because we're in france um <laughs> because we're one hour ahead We've already lost an hour automatically from our journey time just because just because the whole time zones. But we did get a, I think it was 50 minutes earlier channel, so I suppose it's probably evened out in the end. We're taking it very easy today. I think if we get to the stage where we're border riding, not like I can imagine we will be, um, I suspect we'll just pull over um, and find a campsite locally and not go to the one that we'd planned to. The one we'd planned to go to was... Uh, outside of a place called Troy's and yeah that looks really nice it's by like a, an, I think it's like an artificial beach uh, on the side of a reservoir which is really cool I've got to say I suspect the reason this road is so nice is it is because it's the main route to the Channel Tunnel in the same way that the M20 on the British side is very very smooth but the tarmac is absolutely phenomenal look at that view fucking gorgeous isn't it it's always nice, you just, you can travel, I don't know what the distance over the sea is, I think it's like 23 miles maybe, a bit less than that, I'm not sure, but certainly around 20 miles. 
you can go come 20 miles to a completely different island and instantly the scenery is vastly different you can see from the colour of the soil and the colour of the grass and it's just really nice in exactly the same way that you go 20 miles in pretty much any direction in the UK and you end up uh, with very very pretty countryside and stuff it's really nice I'm hoping that having this camera on won't get me pulled because I don't really want to be pulled by the French police because my French isn't massively fluent and I'm not entirely sure how to um, explain what a GoPro is I'm, but yeah, here with my two pals on a bit of an adventure none of us have uh, been abroad on bikes on our own before so it's the first time <laughs> we were on the Channel Tunnel and a guy in front of us on a BMW it was a K1300 beautiful bike um, asked us where we were going and I kind of naturally went oh yeah we just headed down to Monaco and then back up like that was the kind of that was an impressive route and I kind of returned the politeness and said where are you going and he went Russia oh fuck <laughs> I'm not impressive at all am I <laughs> and he uh, I chatted to him a bit longer and he said you're going down to Monaco today then I went, oh no we're doing it in doing it in two days 250 miles today 550 tomorrow went, oh okay what about you? I've got to be in St. Petersburg tonight. <laughs> I've already done 250 miles. I've got another 650 to go. Fair play, mate. Fair play. And interestingly, when we pulled out of Calais, the ratchet strap was secure, but it had probably another metre or so extra length flying out the back. So I had a blue ribbon hanging on the tail of my bike, which must have looked quite cool. So I had to, whilst trying to navigate and lead a group, for the first time in a foreign country, uh, grab a strap that was half a metre behind me and then thread it through under my arse cheeks and sit on it. Also, Matt decided to break my windscreen. There's usually a plastic bit of rubber, uh, plastic bit of rubber, uh, usually a little rubber bit that goes around the edge of the screen like that. And he cleaned it earlier and loosened it and it started flying off just as I got kind of on the move. So I had to, whilst navigating, ride one-handed, not really looking where I was going, and undo the tank bag, and then put it in there. So it's uh, it's already been an interesting journey for me. I've decided to sweep now whilst I'm doing a vlog, because it means I don't have to concentrate quite as much. I like the way the speed limit phases. I think that's quite a good way of doing it. And this road is absolutely beautiful. Not only is it scenic, but the pavement's absolutely majestic. Pavement tarmac even. Asphalt. Asphalt. I've had, I've had an American living with me for a, a week and a half, so I think I might have picked up a few American ma mannerisms. Bloody foreigners. <laughs> he says, whilst on the continent. Hello again. Just thought I'd quickly update you guys. Um, we've done about 120 miles since Calais, and uh, we're parked up, taking our time over at a service station um, and maybe get our heads down for a couple of hours or something we're just going to blast straight to Monaco not do the camping tonight uh, get out of the way um, and then we're as far south as we're going to be and we can really take our time coming back and really go the scenic route um, I'll show you the bikes because that inevitably is what you're here for looking very nice with all that luggage on and uh, yeah I shall update you in a bit bye bye Basically, there's no chance we're ever going to make what we want to do, <laughs> and we're probably going to sleep somewhere like this. I, I suspect that'll end up happening. Um, yeah, shotgun. I'll just, I'm gonna put, I'm just going to put a tent there. There's <laughs> something innately funny about the noise of that toilet. It's just fucking amazing. Um, there's no being sat on the He's having a drum. Can I also point out that in the last one, um, the urinals were basically outside. There was just nothing there. 
You might as well just push the bush. Um, yeah, <laughs> don't do it. Um, the bikes are handling it really well, just sitting at 90 on the on the A road yeah, motorway thing. Really, it's completely empty. There's no cops. It's great. Turns out Matt doesn't like toll roads very much. <laughs> It's a bit grim, that is. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, that's some serious bug genocide. Yep, you've got them all. Down to shit! <laughs> yeah, we've got a long way to go yet. Yeah. <laughs> a bit of sugar and drinks. A couple of cigarettes and stuff. And then we'll, then we'll move on. Alright, see you Best angle. Yeah, whatever angle's best. Here goes. Recording right now, so. Oh, the bike, Say your I mean. piece. Oh, of the bike, yeah. Um, Any angle is right. a good angle. Yeah, so basically, as you can see, I've quite a lot of luggage on the back, and uh, I'm a bit of a midget, so to get on the bike, this is what I have to do about 10 times a day for the next We've week. We've <laughs> just made him do it another eight times because it's quite fun to watch. <laughs> and it's, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good learning. My legs really hurt now, by the way, but that's fine. There we go, Bom getting his Borman on. Now it's the it's the off part I think is harder now than the on part. there are two part. ways to do it. Two ways. I can either do it the way I got on, like this, but then I'm kind of stuck. Yeah, he's a bit, he gets his boot stuck there. Yeah, so, so I have to do this, it's the good bit. <laughs> <laughs> he essentially has to reverse roundhouse his own existence <laughs> to get off the bike. Anyway. And, uh, that's so easy. That's just, it's just much easier. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Look, I could just do this just fucking... <laughs> boom. Regarde. Boom. <laughs> oh, I'm a lanky That's bitch. much easier. So yeah, we're just north of Dijon. Uh, I think it's about half one in the morning. Um, came down to stop up yeah, it is that late, I'm afraid. Because we are one hour ahead, we've lost an hour. Oh, yeah, it's 20 past one. 20 past one? Yeah. Uh, so far, miles on the clock. Let's have a look. Look, see. <coughs> miles on the clock. I have 527.2 miles. Uh, Ollie's a bit less and Matt's a bit more. Uh, and it is outside, quite mild, 20 degrees C. No, Hondas don't lie. <laughs> um, uh, I was fading a bit uh, at the last stop we had, which is only about 35 miles away. We're stopping now, but I feel a lot better. I've got some food in me and uh, I'm a bit warmer. So I think we're going to push on and do the 120 mile or so uh, trip to Lyon uh, and then kind of see where we go from there. Um, yeah, I might even put the camera on the helmet. I don't know, whatever. I'll see you in a bit. So we are here in a service station out just outside of Lyon. Um, 652.1 miles, it's 6 o'clock, clock's an hour slow, the sun has pretty much started to come up. Um, myself and Matt haven't been to bed yet, uh, we plan to head to Grenoble um, and camp up there and then proceed to Monaco in the afternoon. Ollie, however, um, has gone for a little kip. I thought I should show you this because he won't know I'm doing this. This is literally exactly how he fell asleep. We didn't force this upon him or anything, this is absolutely genuine. How do you fall asleep like that? Incredible. <laughs> 